Welcome to Amateur Money, where we explore all things related to money. Today's topic is one that affects all of us, the psychology of money. Have you ever wondered why you make certain financial decisions? Why do you spend money on things you don't really need, or why do you procrastinate when it comes to investing? The truth is, our emotions and mindset play a significant role in how we manage our money. In this video, we'll explore the psychology of money and how it can affect your financial decisions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to support our content. Also, be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos on all things related to money. By subscribing, you'll be joining our community of like-minded individuals who are committed to improving their financial well-being. Emotions and Money Financial decisions are often seen as rational and objective, but the truth is that our emotions play a more significant role than we realize. Our emotional states can heavily influence our financial decisions, often without us being aware of it. For example, when we feel sad or anxious, we may engage in emotional spending, buying things to boost our mood, even if we don't need them. Similarly, when we're feeling overconfident, we may take unnecessary risks, such as investing in high-risk stocks or gambling. These emotional biases can lead to poor financial decisions and may even result in financial ruin. For instance, emotional spending can result in overspending and debt, while overconfidence can lead to investment losses. Moreover, certain emotions can impact our ability to make rational financial decisions, such as fear or greed. Fear may lead us to avoid taking financial risks altogether, while greed may lead us to take excessive risks to chase potential gains. It's important to recognize and manage these emotions to make better financial decisions. One approach is to identify our emotional triggers and set up healthy coping mechanisms. For example, when feeling sad or anxious, we can engage in activities that boost our mood without involving spending, such as exercising or spending time with loved ones. Additionally, we can practice mindfulness techniques that help us detach from our emotions and make more rational decisions. Finally, seeking professional help from a financial advisor or therapist can also be beneficial for those struggling with emotional biases. By understanding the role that emotions play in our financial decisions and taking steps to manage them, we can improve our financial decision-making and achieve better financial outcomes. Mindset and Money our mindset is another factor that influences our financial decisions. The way we view money and our relationship with it can heavily impact how we manage our finances. One common mindset is the scarcity mindset, which is the belief that there's never enough money, leading to excessive saving, hoarding, and a reluctance to spend. Scarcity mindset can make us feel anxious and restrict our ability to enjoy life. On the other hand, an abundance mindset is the belief that there's plenty of money and opportunities, which can lead to overspending and overconfidence. Having an abundance mindset can lead to poor financial decisions such as living beyond our means and taking on excessive debt. While a scarcity mindset can lead to missed opportunities for growth and wealth creation, such as not investing in the stock market or being overly conservative with our finances. To achieve a balanced mindset that promotes financial health, it's important to challenge and reshape our beliefs about money. One approach is to focus on gratitude and contentment with what we have, rather than always striving for more. Additionally, we can cultivate a growth mindset, which is the belief that we can improve and develop our financial knowledge and skills over time. Another way to promote a healthy mindset is to set clear financial goals and track our progress towards them. This can help us stay focused and motivated, and avoid falling into the trap of overspending or excessive saving. Finally, it's important to surround ourselves with positive influences, such as financial advisors or mentors who share our values and goals. By adopting a healthy mindset towards money, we can make better financial decisions and create a more fulfilling financial future. Habits and Money Our habits play a significant role in how we manage our money. Good financial habits, such as setting budgets, saving regularly, and investing in diverse portfolios, can help us achieve our financial goals. On the other hand, bad financial habits, such as impulse buying, procrastinating on financial decisions, and living beyond our means, can lead to financial instability and debt. Breaking bad financial habits and cultivating good financial habits can significantly improve our financial decisions and set us on the path to financial success. One way to break bad financial habits is to identify our triggers and develop strategies to overcome them. For example, if we tend to impulse buy when we're feeling stressed, 
we can try practicing stress-reducing techniques, such as meditation or deep breathing exercises. Another approach is to automate good financial habits, such as setting up automatic savings transfers or bill payments. This can help us stay on track with our financial goals without having to rely on willpower alone. Additionally, we can create a support system of friends or family members who share our financial goals and can provide accountability and encouragement. To cultivate good financial habits, we can start by setting clear financial goals and creating a plan to achieve them. For example, we can create a budget that aligns with our income and expenses, or we can commit to saving a certain percentage of our income each month. Additionally, we can educate ourselves about personal finance and investing to make more informed financial decisions. By building good financial habits and breaking bad ones, we can take control of our financial future and achieve greater financial stability and success. Remember, small changes in our financial habits can lead to significant improvements in our overall financial well-being. Overcoming the psychology of money. Overcoming the psychology of money requires a combination of awareness, reflection, and action. First, we must be aware of our emotional and mindset biases such as our tendency towards emotional spending or a scarcity mindset. We can do this by practicing mindfulness and paying attention to our thoughts and feelings around money. Additionally, seeking feedback from trusted friends or financial advisors can provide an outside perspective on our financial decisions. Second, we must reflect on our financial habits and identify areas for improvement. This requires honest self-reflection and a willingness to make changes. For example, we can review our spending habits and identify areas where we can cut back on unnecessary expenses, or we can evaluate our investment portfolio and make adjustments to ensure it aligns with our goals and risk tolerance. Finally, we must take action to improve our financial decisions. This can involve setting a budget, automating savings, or seeking advice from financial experts. It's important to take small, manageable steps towards our financial goals, rather than trying to make drastic changes all at once. To overcome emotional biases, we can also develop healthy coping mechanisms and practice self-care. This can involve engaging in activities that reduce stress and anxiety, such as exercise, meditation, or spending time with loved ones. Additionally, seeking support from a therapist or financial advisor can provide a safe space to discuss our emotions and financial challenges. In conclusion, overcoming the psychology of money requires a holistic approach that addresses our emotional, mindset, and habitual biases. By increasing awareness, reflecting on our habits, and taking action, we can make more rational financial decisions and achieve greater financial success. Remember, it's never too late to start making positive changes in our relationship with money. Conclusion In summary, the psychology of money is a complex and fascinating topic. Emotions and mindset play a significant role in how we manage our money, and it's important to be aware of these biases so we can make more rational financial decisions. Whether you have a scarcity mindset or an abundance mindset, remember that money is a tool, and it's up to us to use it wisely. Thanks for watching this video on the psychology of money, and don't forget to subscribe to Amateur Money for more insights and tips on how to manage your finances.